na. Today is December 15. You know, Wilhelmina is really, really exhausted. Everybody's on panic right now. They are panicking because of the short supply. Now, may I greet everybody a pleasant good morning in United States and good morning uh, in Africa. I just finished talking to my head office. In Conakry, the president have inauguration and I was given a briefing with the sales manager that uh, my boss is attending the president inauguration. Okay, and Royal Coulomb Hotel is fully booked. I used to stay at the Royal Coulomb in Conakry. Now, just a moment, I'm going to call this, this person. I'm going to ask him what did he learn out of my video. Uh -huh. Good morning, Mr. Coles. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Yeah. Okay. How are you? How's your day been? Oh, since we've been talking this morning until now, the time now is uh, almost 10 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. I'm live at the moment. It's 5. Sorry, go ahead. It's 5.54 here. Wow. It's 5.54 here. Okay. Uh, this morning we've been talking. Your time. Uh, my time was morning. Your time was in the, I think, was in the afternoon. I would like to um, reiterate our conversation. I think you have listened to our voice conversation at the same time, did you? Yes. Okay. In the beginning, you you searched gold on YouTube, right? Yes. And what did you learn out of that uh, YouTube? I learned to be real and transparent. Yeah. Pre-qualifying the buyer saves time. Mm -hmm. um, I learned about your real estate background, and being that I have a real estate background, I feel that your understanding of transactional, uh, being a transactional agent, uh -huh. okay, it, 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 it works in your favor in getting deals done. Correct. Because you're facilitating transaction. I think that's a unique skill set that you have um, from the real estate background. Also, let's see, you talked about fairness. So you believe that buying and selling should be at a fair price. Correct. No, one, no one's going to take a part, advantage of either party. Um, I, I took notes. So number five is to read and study. Uh -huh. Always read and study. Just don't take someone's word for something. Take time to read the terms and then come back to you when they're ready. Correct. Number six. Number six. Respect the minimum order quantity because you need the minimum order quantity in order to make a fair profit. You mm -hmm. know, you talked about how oh, just coming over for a small amount is not a waste. It, it is a waste of time. So you want the, the minimum order quantity as it's set should be respected. I think the minimum seven, order, Mr. Cole, uh, I just finished yes. talking to my head office in Conakry and in Mali. The minimum order now is 20. No, we're no longer accepting five kilos or ten kilos. It's not worth it to travel. Now I had a buyer that um, made a reservation five kilos and ten kilos. That is the last one. But this time, I was instructed few hours ago, Mali and Conakry and Sierra Leone, they would not accept five kilos or one kilo. No, minimum at least twenty to fifty kilos. Yes, and I think that it's important for buyers to respect that and not. Yeah. Um, try to, they, don't, they always try to change the, the terms. And like you said, the ones who try to change the terms are the ones who don't have money. Oh, that's another point that I put a star by. He who has the gold makes the rules, Correct. as you said. Correct. Um, so the next one I have, uh, the next one I have, 99% 99, 99 of the people who reach out to me, I reject. Mm -hmm. uh, you said, I think you said like 95 Correct. or something like that. But uh, for me, it's 99%. Um, and then I, I wrote a note here because, you know, you, you like to use your colorful language. So I said, money talks. <laughs> my language is really colorful. That's why my, my head office loves me. <laughs> money talks and bullshit walk. That's right. You know, they, they walk. Um, the next one I have is, I just have three more. The next one I have is, those who are not 
good in the market will be revealed. If they're if they're scammers, they will be revealed. Correct. Um, next one, refinement. Oh, this is see see you're in the minerals, gold and diamonds. Um, so I'm not in that industry, but I, the note that I took, the lesson that I took on that was specific to your industry is the refinement process makes gold stronger. You talked about how re refinement has to, um, I think from 23 carats to 24 carats or something like that. Correct. And you were saying it has to be have a differentiation yep. of the 23 to 24. The 24 is okay. already refined, which is called gold volume. There's a serial number called 99.99. .99. So we don't do that because that gold volume, 99.99, .99, already on the vault, either on the refinery or either in the bank. We are selling unrefined so that you can make it yeah. into different uses. Go ahead. Okay. And the next one I have is visibility on social media is important. It demonstrates your knowledge and it makes you an expert in your field. Um, and then the last one I had already mentioned, he who has the gold makes the most. So those are my notes. Oh, you. so you did learn a lot from the from my YouTube channel and on Facebook, did you? Yes. Certainly, yes. So when you saw me there's on... So much, yeah, go there's ahead. There's so much more to learn. Yeah. Actually, really, if you're in real estate, here in Australia, when I apply for a job on real estate, the company would not train you. Uh, they will only hire you when you have the license. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been in real estate for 17 to 18 years, and uh -huh. the company has to give us the book, and the sample of the contract, the sample of um, everything. So I have to study that. I have to read it. I would never ask questions because my, my boss will going to say, well, Amina, did you go to school? I said, yes, I did. Mm. It's, uh, my boss is really very sarcastic. But I love to be in sarcastic because it's a challenge that you have to read and you have to digest it. Here in gold industry and diamond, I'm the one who feed that um, doji broker. I'm the one who feed the doji buyer. But doji buyer, they are, they are manipulating because they think that they are powerful. The Af African seller is more powerful than doji buyer. Yeah, they have the paper money. Yeah, they have the cash, but the gold is solid cash versus paper money. Yeah. I love, I love how you said that. You, you can put a flame to the paper and it's gone. Exactly. You know, I love what... Exactly. When you take a, when you get the lighter, Mr. Cole, right? You burn the paper yes. money. That paper money will be gone in just a second. You 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 burn the gold, it's still gold. It will melt, but it's still That's gold. Right. You got my point here? Yes. So you did yes. you did this, so it on the video that right on that uh, that yes. logic. Yes. Oh yes. my God! Wow, you learn a lot. That is how <laughs> smart you are. The gold dust. The gold dust was so beautiful. It is. Oh my goodness. It is. You know the reason why I love Africa. You are, you were your ancestor is African. Your parents is yes. African, but you were born you were born in United States. My goodness. Yes. Your motherland is rich on natural resources. Your motherland. And when I was in your, in your motherland, my eyes was open. There are so many foreigners who try to steal the asset of Africa. I'm not African, I'm Australian, but I was born in the Philippines. And I love, because there's a lot to offer. White Chinese are there. Australian mining yes. company from Perth is in Mali. Chinese yes. are in Conakry. Mining bauxite. Canadian, Russian are everywhere in your in your parents' motherland. Yeah. Uh -huh. And believe me, I was the one who put this online. That's why you found Wilhelmina. Yes. So now you learn from the University of Hard Knocks. Yes. <laughs> Still so much to learn. Still so much to learn. Yeah, yeah 2021, I'm no longer <coughs> entertaining chain of joker broker. I'm no longer. I'm sick and tired of uh, entertaining chain of joker broker and asking commission if they are working for the buyer, the buyer is paying them. Just like in real estate, right? That's right. You are in real estate. 
So you work for the company. So you facilitate and bring the buyer. You will be paid. Me too. I, I would be paid by my head office. That's why I put everything. I pattern the way we Australian doing business online. We are now on digital. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So now you learn and keep learning. And when you have the buyer, I know gold is commodity. Everybody's panicking. Now the price of gold is ups and down, just like a swing, as I said. At the moment, the price of gold is um, 59.33 per kilo. You never know, uh, before end of 2020. We are now on December 15. Mm -hmm. So there is a prediction. Go ahead. I'm Googling now because I don't want you to tell me. I can look it up. Now, I already put that on your WhatsApp. I put that on your WhatsApp, the price of gold, 24, 23, 21, and 14 yes, and 18. Yes. It's on your WhatsApp. I wanted to understand, and I see it now, the difference between spot price and all the other prices. Okay. Ah. Now, that is spot price that is already discounted, which is um, 8%. Use your calculator. The price is 59, right? 59,333. Less 8% equals um, 54,586. Okay. If, the, if, the, if I uh, see the buyer is real and he showed me his business registration, mining license, passport copy, and financial statement, I might consider to give the buyer a leeway. I might. Because I have the power to negotiate on behalf of the buyer. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm 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 negotiating on behalf of the buyer in order to ask my head office to give the buyer a fair a fair price. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I might consider to give the buyer um uh fifty three thousand three hundred ninety seven per kilo. I might. Yeah. Which is ten percent. Mm. Yeah. So it's a really good price. But uh, the buyer has to convince me. Yeah. If the buyer cannot convince Wilhelmina, I wouldn't give the buyer a very good uh, deal. I'm not helping him to negotiate to my head office. Yeah. I understand. So I now, understand. Uh, since the, this afternoon your time, you've been reading and w listening to our conversation, so you learn a lot, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. So our conversation is live and would be on this um, uh, Facebook and also on YouTube. I'm going to upload this on YouTube because I need the buyer to educate that they are buying money to make money. They can make money as long as they have the money. Mm -hmm. As long as they have capital. You can make um, profit when you have the capital, but if you don't have a capital and in asking CIF cost insurance and freight only, you wouldn't get the profit because you don't have the money. I did, well, I mean, I did global, global supply chain for 20 years in the corporate world. Yeah. And we always did FOBF works, but the Ecoterm CIF is relatively new, isn't it? I think uh, the CIF. The CIF, they use that on the... Go ahead, go ahead. What did you say? I was saying it's just crazy because they don't want to take any responsibility. No, the, the buyer asking CIF, it's for his own benefit. His own benefit, not for the seller's benefit. And you know in uh -huh. Africa, they are a small miner, they have... They are paying their workers every week and every month, so they need cash. So if you if we, you are asking for LC and CIF, then the seller cannot function his business because he's going to roll over. He's the production. Here, you ask the gold, you taste the gold, then give me your money so that I could pay my workers. Because if the worker would not be paid, the, the business of my head office would not function as well. Because the, right. the petrol alone, it costs them money. And the excavator, they are renting the excavator. So that foreigner asking for CIF, he's a thief. That's right. 
He's a smuggler. He's a money launderer. He's a gold launderer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, when you look at the freight costs, and especially with the, the, the rates these days, yes. uh, with COVID and everything, you know, that's, that could easily eat up someone's profit, eat up the seller's profit, the miner's Exa profit. Exactly. You know? And the seller will remit his uh, will remit the royalty to the government and the seller will remit the value the added tax to his government because that would be the income of the country in order to develop the country infrastructure yeah indeed so true but these foreigners come to africa looking for cheap rice what happened they're gonna be scum they would be yes because then the seller say, okay, this is my price. And then when he get the money, he will switch off the phone. You will never meet the seller anymore. He got the money. But you're a foreigner. How are you going to take the gold out of the country and diamond without KPC? Hmm. That's right. I, I, I love when you said that in your video, that they don't have the, the certificate. They can't take it out of the country. They're smugglers. Yeah, you're, you're going to be arrested. You're going to be arrested as a smuggler. Hmm. So nice talking to you, Mr. Cole. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, when when you're ready, you come back. At least you know where to find Walamina. Mm -hmm. Yes. And feel free to reach out to me anytime. Anytime you have some. All right. Thank you very much, and thank you for our conversation. All right. Thank you very much. This gentleman, he saw me on YouTube. He was searching for supply. And when he searched on gold in Africa, my video popped up into his, his screen. Can you imagine? And uh, you are, you should be thankful that um, this, um, this digital information is very, very powerful. Very. And most of the joker brokers said, oh, I don't believe on internet. Well, you are on the internet. You are running around and chasing. So you are on the internet. It so happened because you are thinking that, hey, I'm on the internet, I can find, I can earn money. You will only earn money when you know your buyer. Yeah? Because you are working for the buyer. Now I'm going to reiterate the price today. Okay? Okay. The price today, which is... 1842.60 per ounce in dollar term it's 59242 i'm going to the world market again because the price of gold it fluctuates so don't bank on it just bear with me okay i'm going to go on the world market see now the price again goes up a little bit a while ago was um, uh, 59.333 now it's now 59.40 per ounce so you multiply that with 30 on 32.15 so don't bank on it because the price of gold it fluctuates so you as the buyer grab the opportunity while the price is down this is the secret on how to buy a commodity. When the price is down, grab it. And then when the price goes up, sell it. You know, my seller is very clever. And I learned from my seller. We have tons of gold. I saw it with my own two eyes. He would not sell to you right and there. My seller will look at your eyeball to eyeball. And my seller is very rich than you and you are scared to travel to africa my seller is more than richer than you if you're asking cif or lc my seller will think well Mina, this buyer is a bigger yeah why well, you're a bigger you're gonna borrow money in the bank using is blc using lc then you you bring the the contract because you don't have the cash flow you have the the world you have a solid asset but you don't have a liquid asset so you go to the bank and apply for 
letter of credit. Do you understand what this letter of credit is a credit? You don't have the cash. So you're going to leverage it. So the bank would not issue money to you as a buyer if the bank would not see the seller's information. The bank would not give you, would not approve your application on the LC if the bank cannot see the mining license of the seller, if the bank cannot see the export license of the seller, if the bank cannot see the articles of mining articles of the seller, your application would be a failure. So why are you going to apply an LC? Why you cannot afford? Why? You cannot run your business always credit, credit, credit. You have to have cash flow. Right. Buying gold and diamond always cash. On my virtual page, you can see the diamond, the earned worth. The diamond produced in Africa. But you're asking for bloody cheap price. The price of diamond is precious. Don't you know that? If you watch uh, Shirley Bassey, he sang the song, Diamonds are forever. Diamonds are sparkling. Yes, it is. But you, as a doji buyer, you don't have the money. You travel to Africa, you want to buy one stone. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Mr. Buyer, if you're watching this beautiful lady, this beautiful lady is very strict and very tough. My position, Mr. Baya, I am the international sales director of the seller. I am based in Australia. I am the gatekeeper. Instead of running around and chasing around broker to broker, and your broker is not helping Mr. Baya. He's not. He's helping himself. How much he get the commission? Your broker is not helping you, Mr. Baya. I am helping you instead. So 2021, 20, we are now almost end of 20. We are now on December 15. How many weeks more become January 2021? It's two and a half weeks. We are entering into January 2021. Mr. Baya, you will remember this lady. Even though I'm very strict and very tough, this is for you. I done it purposely so that you will not be duped because I know you were been duped before. You were been duped in Ghana. You were been duped in Uganda. You were been duped in Nairobi. You were been duped in Sierra Leone. You were been duped in Mali. You were been duped in Togo. You were been duped in Conakry. I'll tell you why you were been duped. You were been offer cheap price. 35, 40, that is only gross, okay? The seller did not tell you how much is the valued added tax. The seller said, here, here is my price. Then you're going to be grabbed just like this um, a guy from Madrid. He was offered 40 and he wanted to travel to Cameroon. I think he's in Cameroon. I don't know if he get the gold because in Cameroon, the tax is 17%. Now, another Indian, he traveled to do a, to um, Sierra Leone, failure. He doesn't have the money. He wanted to get credit. Diamond is not for credit. Now, Mr. Bayo, I just received the, the new arrival of gold in Mali, another one ton production from the 4,500 local miners. The 2.5 in Mali, it's in the security company in Bamako, Mali. I have the SKR, but I'm not going to give you any SKR at all. We will only show the SKR when you send me business registration, a copy of your business registration, a copy of your importation license, a copy of your passport, and a copy of your financial statement. Without that, I wouldn't believe that you're a buyer. To me, you're a doji. You're collecting information, soliciting and running around and chasing, just like 
a prostitute. You are online prostitute. You are prostituting yourself. You know, when I was in Ghana, 2013, my driver was saying, Madam, look at this foreigner. They are smoking outside Accra Center. You know, Madam, these people are beggars. They come to Ghana. They are prostituting themselves, thinking they can get the gold. <laughs> I was laughing. I said, why did you call the, this foreigner a prostitute? Madam, they are looking, 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 looking. They are staying at Accra Internet Cafe. Mm -hmm. They are staying, searching. They are a buyer, seller. But they don't have the money. I know because I meet a lot of Americans. Go on Holiday Inn on the, in the coffee shop. There's a local people doing their, their laptop and the Americans say, oh, we are the buyer. But actually, he is not a buyer. He's a broker. And I told this American person, you should not lie yourself. You should tell this local agent, I am the buyer's mandate. Tell your seller, I want to meet your seller. Because this local agent will also earn their commission. I was just laughing. Their style of doing business is wrong. My dear buyer, the style of marketing of Wilhelmina, we are now on digital. You can see the procedure. Everything is in front of you. You don't need a chain of joker broker. A minute you don't give me the answer to my question, Mr. Bayer, I consider you a doji. There was a gentleman, and uh, he's from Dubai. He said that he has a shop, and he said that uh, he's been in gold business for 36 years, and he's asking me to bring gold in his doorstep, and I told him, no, you're a businessman, you should know that gold is money. He didn't. He's been floating around on Facebook and also on LinkedIn that he said he's a buyer, but he wanted the gold to bring to his doorstep. No, we don't. Come to the office. We have an office. Come. Come to Wilhelmina. I'm here. I'm the gatekeeper, Mr. Buyer. I am. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Buyer, I would not elaborate anymore. This is my last um, appearance. I will come live before entering 2021 because all of my video is very clear mr buyer very clear now i will summarize and repeat again mr buyer we no longer accepting one kilo two kilos three kilos our minimum order is 20 to 50. if you cannot afford then you have a problem we just sold one ton of gold from Mali. The buyer is from Turkey. He doesn't have any issue. We just deliver the gold September 19 in Dubai 200 kilos. The buyer has no issue because he's hungry to buy. You are hungry to buy, Mr. Buyer. You are. I am helping you to feed your hunger. Yeah, Wilhelmina is here to give you the food in your mouth, but show me how to use the spoon. Because a plate, I'm just giving you a logic, huh? One plate, there is a food on the plate. You use the spoon and the pork, right? You eat. Gold is just like that. If you are on my virtual page, there is a plate with gold and knife. If you are very smart to comprehend, if you went to school, I do understand. You're going to comprehend that logic. Then one plate with a gold bar with a spoon and fork. If you don't have the money, how could you get the bars on the plate? That is money. I'm just getting you to understand the logic on the plate of gold. I will show it on my digital office. Now, Mr. Bayo, you see this lady. Don't be scared with this lady. I can guarantee you, you will get the gold. But don't be doji, because a minute you're doji, I will expose your stupidness. Yes. 
I will. Because I am cleaning 2020 old doji buyer and old doji broker. Now, I don't deal with chain of broker anymore. I will only deal with the buyer's mandate. I'm not interested to sign in C in the A. That is a brokerage. So you, are, you don't know your buyer. Why I'm going to sign in C in the A? Instead, I will deal directly to the buyer. The buyer get the profit rather than the chain of joker broker get the profit. The joker broker just floating around come to my virtual of, uh, office. Yeah? So, madam, I have the buyer. Which one? Mm -hmm. And then they send me cut and paste on SPA. I'm not interested to deal with SPA. I want to gather the buyer's information. Mr. Buyer, you watch this video, right? You go and click below. There is a link. You read it. Then you come back. When you come back, you come on Skype or Zooming. Let's have a Zoom conference. I want to see you. Because you already read the full corporate offer. You already saw the manifest on diamond. Okay? I want you to convince me and prove to me that you are a buyer. I'm no longer accepting a chain of joker broker. If you cannot comprehend Mr. Buyer, to me, you are not a buyer. You are not. There are so many buyers in Dubai crying for supply. They're asking for LC, uh, CIF, it's BLC, uh, escrow. You don't have the money. That kind of a procedure, the bigger is asking for credit. According to my seller, a buyer asking LC is a bigger. A buyer asking is BLC is a bigger. A buyer asking CIF is a bigger. Why you're a bigger? You don't have the cash. You sold 11, December 11, one tons of gold. Yeah. September 19, we deliver gold in Dubai. Cash. They don't have any issue. The buyer has no issue. Now we have the buyer arriving in Conakry. So this is this buyer. Is the last buyer that I'm entertaining five kilos, ten kilos, because he made the reservation before and after election. At the moment, according to my manager, that my head office, the boss, attending the presidential inauguration in Conakry. My seller will laugh at you. I have met a lot of joker buyer in Conakry. Mm -hmm. My seller is the first cousin of the president. Why they hired me? Huh? Why? I did not apply for a job. The, the seller in Conakry, they beg me to handle them because they're sick and tired dealing with Duji buyer. Yeah? I just been to Conakry last year and this year. Three times I've already been to Conakry. Yeah? I was in Sierra Leone. Yeah? I was in Ghana, but I would not touch Ghana anymore. Ghana has no supply. The gold is coming from border to border. The gold coming from Conakry, gold coming from Sierra Leone, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, etc. There are 14 refineries in Ghana. 14. Gold Coast, PMMC, Asankas, EA Mineral, Etaltec, ER Logistics, Geological, WRL, Sahara, and so forth. Why they're there? Because there is a business. But they couldn't get the gold because there is no supply. There is no much production because the government is punishing the local miner. Why? Why the government is punishing? Because the local miner are also trying evading taxes. So what happened? Their business is not functioning now because the government will not allow any foreigner to take the gold out of the country without payment, in full, in order in order to reflect cash inflow. Mm -hmm. How do I know? I've been on the ground. So there are so many Americans who come to Ghana, so many. One American come to, to me the other day, and he has a buyer's agent. Madam, we need gold. I said, no, 
Where the buyer coming from? Ghana. No. I, I told this buyer, how long is your buyer in Ghana? Two months. And he has an office. And I told this broker, if he has an office, why not go to Kumasi? Why not go to Torqua? Bring cash. Don't come to Wilhelmina because we don't deal buyers already on the ground. We only entertain the buyers with formal invitation based on the buyer's letter of intent to purchase. I don't receive or I don't entertain blank SPA. I don't. That is solicitation. I don't entertain cut and paste. I don't. That is why I put the requirement. What necessary buyer will get it. When you as a buyer read the full corporate offer, meaning to say you are ready to do business with us, then you come online, so therefore you are ready. Because I'm not going to entertain, I'm going to ignore you. I already put everything. So what else you need? The most important, Mr. Buyer, after you read the full corporate offer, send me your business registration. You're going to send me. There, Wilhelmina, I watch your YouTube channel. I watch on Facebook. I did read the full corporate offer. I am looking to buy gold in Conakry or I am looking to buy gold in Bamako, Mali, or I am looking to buy gold in Sierra Leone. Yeah? So, I have to respond to you. I'm gonna ask you, come on conference, I want to see you live. Open your camera. Video call. You already saw, well, Amina, you already read the full corporate offer. I'm going to ask a few questions. Few questions. Okay? So that is the reason why Wilhelmina is live. I just finished talking to Mr. Cole. His parents is from Africa, but he was born in Florida. He is in Florida right now because he was born there. He's American. It's too funny because his name is very long. So for short, his family surname is Mr. Cole. C-O-L-E-S. Okay? So, he's happy that he found Wilhelmina on YouTube. You must remember, YouTube is the best site. There are 6.6 .6 billion plus more followers. On Facebook, 6.6 .6 plus billion followers. Everything now is online. You can buy anything. I am the one who put Africa on the, on the world map. I am the one. No such broker put African on the map selling precious item. I teach my seller to be transparent. That's why the seller hired Wilhelmina. Today we no longer selling 5 kilos or 10 kilos. Minimum 20 kilos. Why? It's not worth it for you to travel. You must remember Mr. Baya. When I travel with you. I am charging you to accompany you in order for you to assist properly. And if you cannot afford my travel cost, meaning to say you cannot afford to pay the products. Very simple. We don't sell one stone, Mr. Buyer. Two stone, minimum at least sixty to one hundred thousand dollars. Okay? And I'm not going to entertain anybody end of this month asking me send the manifest the manifest is in front of you click on the link the manifest is the form of video you select the stone how many stone at least minimum of 60,000 if you don't have that don't bother to travel it's not worth it for you mm -hmm. and in gold minimum order 20 kilos I was been told one hour ago we no longer accepting five kilos. It's not worth it for you to travel. You don't need to get the you don't need to get profit. So I have the buyer that arriving in Conakry, getting five or ten kilos. That is the last buyer I'm going to allow to get the gold in Conakry, and in Mali or Sierra Leone, minimum twenty kilos. Take it or leave it. You can have it. If you don't get out on this business 
because you don't have the money. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good evening. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I shall see you before entering 2021.